So every time my family and I go on vacation, we have this ritual where, uh, so my sister and I bring our suitcases down uh, to the car, to the minivan, we put them in the minivan, and then my dad takes his suitcase and my mom's suitcase, and they put that in the minivan. And then my dad takes a step back and he looks at the trunk of the minivan and he sees that it's just not optimally configured. <laughs> and so, so he takes them all out and then he repacks, he repacks the minivan. And then things are a little bit better and there's less space in the trunk being taken up. And so for every set of suitcases, there is some optimal way that they could be fit into the back of a minivan. Um, there are many suboptimal ways, but there's only one optimal way. <laughs> and uh, so after my, mom, after my dad finishes uh, packing the trunk, my mom comes out and she looks at it and she sees there's improvements to be made. So she shifts some things, rearranges some things, and now there's less space being taken up. So, Mathematically, what is the absolute best way to pack suitcases into the trunk of a 2001 Honda Odyssey? Uh, well, we could write an equation that would describe, you know, the, relate the orientation of the suitcases to the total volume consumed inside the trunk. But then we have to remember that moving one suitcase actually requires us to move other suitcases, usually. So not only would we need one equation for the system of suitcases, we would actually need a system of equations for the system of suitcases. Um, and you know, how would we, you, you have to keep in mind, right, that, that the suitcase can move uh, you know, X, Y, and Z, okay, that's three parameters, three degrees of freedom, four suitcases, 12 parameters, but the suitcase can also rotate about those axes, so you have another 12 free parameters, okay? And so that's 24 uh, parameters on the graph plus the total volume, that's 25 dimensional graph, that's really hard to visualize. Or you could try every single possible combination, right? Uh, but that would also be really laborious. Or you could just guess, Right? You could just put, you just put the suitcases into the trunk and then see how it goes and then, you know, take another guess, see how it goes. Just go with your gut. Your gut, it might not be very smart, right, but it's, if it's right, who cares? So um, this is called a Monte Carlo simulation, okay? And that, you know, this was invented 60 years ago by physicists, but now everybody's doing Monte Carlo, geophysicists, investment bankers, protein folders, right? And so we just go with our gut. It doesn't matter. You don't have to think. As long as you can select for a particular outcome, that's all that matters. Selection could be competition say, between um, finches trying to eat fruit from a cactus, say, on the Galapagos Islands, right? And uh, the parameter under selection is the beak shape, okay? So life is a 3.8 billion year Monte Carlo simulation. Thank you.